There is perhaps no single event in human history more significant and far-reaching than the first discovery of the material that would come to be known as drift. Drift was first encountered within riberite crystals during a lava tube survey on the southern hemisphere of the second moon of Centrum, Lysara, and was quickly revealed to have unique gravity-altering properties when exposed to an electrical current. Under such charges, the material is able to generate directional gravito-electromagnetic fields, opening an entirely new avenue of scientific development development that would revolutionize human civilization. Within three years of this discovery, the nations of Centrum were unified under the banner of the Centrum Assembly, and within five years, the first drift-powered spacecraft began to chart and settle the worlds of the Centrum system. This manner of economical transplanetary travel was achieved using drift-accelerated fusion thermal rockets, known colloquially as drift drives. These drives use artificial gravity fields to accelerate the exhaust plumes of conventional fusion rockets, allowing for previously impossible degrees of engine and thrust and specific impulse. This technology is used to carry out brachistochrone flights over interplanetary distances, accelerating a craft continuously as it approaches its target before inverting at the halfway point to begin a deceleration burn for the remainder of the journey. The greatest drawback of drift drive travel is that the system demands that massive levels of electrical charge be forced through the small quantities of drift within the drive's coils, heating the substance to the point of spontaneous decomposition and rendering it essentially useless. To this this end, interplanetary spacecraft must be regularly resupplied with drift in order to continue using their drive systems. The expansion of the assembly would not be confined by the Centrum system for long, however, and in 010 post-unification, the Hadamus Gateforge was established by Santana Starworks to begin work on the first intersolar gravitomagnetic accelerator, or drift gate. At a standard diameter of almost 3 kilometers, drift gates are colossal structures, unparalleled in sophistication and complexity. Unlike drift drives, these gates do not consume drift to function, instead requiring a massive quantity of drift for their initial construction before becoming essentially 100% efficient. A drift gate is able to accelerate a spacecraft to any point within its effective range, though not without a substantial degree of inaccuracy caused by light delay and stellar drift. This issue has been addressed by constructing a second gate at a destination system and pairing the two structures into a drift lane for frequent and safe travel between solar systems. The first gate constructed by the Centrum Assembly was established beyond the orbit of Destrum within the Centrum system. The gate was oriented toward a nearby star system known as Pioneer that was recorded in the exoplanetary database as the location of a Centrum mass planet. Colony ships were launched through the gate in 017 PCU, carrying the necessary components to assemble a return gate, and within a year, vessels had returned through a new drift lane, bringing word of a burgeoning colony on the surface of Pioneer 3. This settlement would later be become known as Storm on account of the planet's extremely hostile weather conditions and is considered by modern standards to be a critically unsuitable choice for colonization. In spite of this, the Pioneer 3 colony has been continually restructured and maintained at great expense over almost three centuries, with the settlement's historical significance overruling its lack of stability or intrinsic value. As the gate network spread across the breadth of the Tantalus Cluster and the technology became more readily available, various treaties were established to observe the safe usage of drift drives and gates, to limit the possibility of catastrophic accidents and to prevent their deliberate use as weapons of mass destruction. Central to these precautions was the Corrida Concordance, an interplanetary treaty that restricted the purposeful weaponization of drift drives or gates, so as to prevent the development of relativistic mass drivers and other such weapons. This treaty was famous violated in 0300 PCU during the final battle of the Frontier War, now known as the Battle of Atamara Crossroads. The engagement was predicated when a small and desperate contingent of the Frontier Union militia attempted to seize and reorient a drift gate in the Atamara system, hoping to use the device to accelerate a captured asteroid into the planet's centrum, causing an extinction-level event. Thankfully, the attempt was thwarted by elements of the Assembly's first and second fleets, saving billions of lives in the process. Even long before the start of the Frontier War, astronomers had begun to confirm that humanity had explored and settled every usable star system in the Tantalus Cluster, with any unsettled systems containing only barren worlds and red dwarf stars. This inability to expand or exploit new worlds led to a widespread famine and overpopulation crisis that had long been predicted by historians and scientists. The panic and desperation resulting from this crisis provided the instigation for the Frontier War, and in the wake of the conflict,
conflict, civilization in the Tantalus Cluster has begun to cascade toward total collapse. In recent years, however, a source of hope has emerged in the form of astral body CDC 41 Gamma. Discovered by renowned astrophysicist Dr. Sadavar Edric, 41 Gamma is a sizable nebula that has appeared in the night sky within the last few years. Accounting for light delay based on its distance of over 3,000 light years from Tantalus, we are forced to assume that this nebula manifested itself almost instantaneously over 3,000 years ago. Long range scans have suggested an abundance of resources present across numerous star systems within the nebula, and across the last four years, it has become the greatest source of hope and direction for the people of the Tantalus Cluster. To this end, the nations of the Cluster have pooled their resources to construct a new and advanced drift gate known as Edric's Gate, though still limited by the inaccuracy of single gate travel. This device, upon completion, will allow humans to travel across the intergalactic void, a region that was previously considered impassable due to its enormous scope and total lack of stellar bodies. Within the coming year, Edric's Gate will carry a large expeditionary fleet to the perimeter of astral body CDC 41 Gamma in search of salvation for humanity. Thank you for watching. Please remember to follow the link below to check out our announcement for our upcoming original sci-fi drama, The Sojourn.